Hello my friends, I am back again. Okay, just so you guys know, so I just got my hair done. And so if my neck keeps turning like this and I can't really turn my neck, it's because my head's really tight. So for today's video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about what really being African American is and cultural appropriation to bring reality to what African Americans have done for our country. Number one, cultural appropriation. Jesus, if you ask me. You go to Forever 21, you will see tunic. Colorful printed, colorful printed tunic. They will say it's a tribal print tunic. My friend, do you know what Dan Chiki is? Do you know what that is, man? Do you know it? The fact that they're starting to flip around shirts and say, oh my god, look at this, this is a tribal print tunic with colors on it. No, boo boo. It's been here from the jump. It's called a daishiki, dan chiki. You can wear it wherever you want. It's from the African culture. The thing is, a lot of times people don't realize it, but America likes to pick at different cultures and then claim it to be their own. And that's where cultural appropriation comes in. And you know what? It's really bugging me. Oh! Oh, and the thing is, people will still go and buy these things, but then, you know what? It will be some some black people, they will not know. They will know. They will go to the store, they will say, oh my God, this is a really cute, you know, color for tunic shirt. I should get this shirt. No, honey boo boo, it's called a daishiki. You see, you a black person, you African American, but then because of the fact you don't look into your African side of your culture, you will not go and see that there's something called a daishiki, a dad chiki, and you won't even wear it. And you won't even buy it, but because you see it in Forever 21, it's all of a sudden cute. It's cute. It's been cute if you ask me. Another thing, space buns. Oh my goodness. Miley Cyrus. You decided to do Bantu Nuts, but it's called space buns. Let me call it space buns for right now. She did space buns on her head. And now everybody's like, oh my God, that looks so cute. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. I wish I could rock it like that. And people start wearing space buns. and start calling it space buns. Because of the American culture, because of the fact that they took something that was from African Americans and then claimed it to be their own. Space buns, it's not called space buns no more. I'm, I'm, stop, I'm, I will stop calling it that because that's not what it's called. It's called Bantu Nuts. Bantu Nuts. If you go to Africa, people in Africa would wear this hairstyle daily on a daily basis. And now that because someone where the public eye is now wearing this is now seen as something big and beautiful and I'm sitting here thinking it's been going on and people want to now America wants to now take that and call it space buns and then make it their part of their own culture again and I'm sitting over here like oh my goodness I'm done with this there's another one oh jeez Kim Kardashian Kim Kardashian she, she did braids on her head like Goros on her head. They called it, you want to know? You want to know what they called it? Hold on, wait for this one. They called it boxer braid. <laughs> what? I didn't, I didn't know America could go that far. I did not know they can go that far, man. I didn't know. They, they called it boxer braid. Boxer braid? What is boxer braid? Oh, man. Oh! Boxer braid. I keep saying it. It's called corn rose. Just call it corn rose. Number two. The fact that people, African Americans, will not claim that they're African. They will say, oh, I'm black. Oh, I'm African American. But now when someone tells you that you're African, that you have African blood in you, and the rest of your blood, you don't want to claim that you're African? Some people, I've met some people who really believe that because of, this, because of the fact that they live in America, they were born in America, they're only American. That's not the reality of it. The thing is, America is continuously trying to change the minds of society, trying to change the minds of African Americans and black people and make them feel like because you were born in America, you're only American. I'm sorry, boo, but the reality is you're not just American. You should go trace your blood back. You probably have some Nigerian in you, some Ghana, something in you. It's just the fact that America is always making it seem as though we have to only solely claim to be American. I'm Nigerian American. I'm proud to say that I'm Nigerian American. But the fact of the matter is, if someone were to ask me what my ethnicity is, the first thing I would say is Nigerian. That's what people need to know. The fact that everything is 
constantly take it from other cultures and then they twist it and turn it into something that it's not and make it an American thing when the reality of it is not an Ameri American thing. And that's where people start to lose their identity and that's where African Americans in a sense they start to not believe or not to actually look into their African side. Most of these things are come from the African history and they don't look into these things and people just don't realize where they actually root from, where they come from and it's time that people need to talk about it and I'm here standing talking about something that matters. Black History Month isn't just a month. It's to celebrate what America is built upon. It's built upon slavery and it's built upon the hard work that African, that African Americans have done for this country. And I'm tired of hearing people of all these, all of this cultural appropriation and African American and pe black people don't want to claim the African side. To those who feel as though because you're here or because you're African American or because you're in America and you feel as though you've forgotten about your culture, forgotten about the African culture, look into it. There's nothing wrong with that. Love who you are, love where you come from, and love your roots. And that's what I do. I love being, I'm proud to be a Nigerian, and I'm proud to be the person that I'm standing here right now. And I'm proud to talk about situations like this that people do not talk about. And it, it's crazy how people don't talk about Black History Month on YouTube, somewhere where it's actually needed, where people will actually watch these videos. So. Girl, I'm sweating. I can't even. I just went on a rant. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe, my friend. Because Chidera is good to listen to. Hey, that was a good one. Okay. So, you guys, I really hope you guys love it. Stay tuned.